to me, it's a little bit also heartbreaking that, you know, with Google and, and Facebook, like DeepMind and so on, so much of the talent, you know, doesn't stay necessarily for prolonged periods of time in these in, in these universities. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 some of the companies are more guilty than others of paying fabulous salaries to some of the highest, you know, yeah. producers. And then just, you never hear from them again. They're not allowed to give public talks. They're, they're sort of locked away. And it's sort of like collecting, collecting, you know, Hollywood stars or something. Mm. And they're not allowed to make movies anymore. I own them. Um, yeah, that's tragic because, I mean, the... There's an openness to the university setting where you do research, to yeah. uh, both in you the know, space of ideas and the space like publication, all those kinds of things. Yeah, you know, and and you know, there's the publication and all that, and and often, you know, although these places say they publish, yeah, there's pressure. And um, but I think, for instance, um, you know, uh, uh, net net, I think. Google buying those eight or nine robotics company was bad for the field because it locked those people away. They didn't have to make the company succeed anymore. It locked them away for years and then sort of all fritted away. Yeah. So um, do you have hope for MIT? Like for, M for MIT? Yeah, why shouldn't I? Well, I could be harsh and say that I'm not sure I would say MIT is leading the world in AI or even Stanford or Berkeley. I would say, I would say uh, DeepMind, Google AI, Facebook yes. AI. See, I would take a slightly different approach or a different answer. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll come back to Facebook in a minute. Mm -hmm. But I think those other places are following a dream of one of the founders. Uh, and I'm not sure that it's well-founded the dream and i'm not sure that it's going to have the impact that he believes it is um you're talking about facebook and google and so on i'm talking about google google but the thing is those research labs aren't there's the big dream and i'm i'm, I'm usually a fan of no matter what the dream is a big dream is a unifier because what happens is you have a lot of bright minds working together uh, on a dream, what results is a lot of like adjacent ideas. I mean, this yeah, is how yeah. so much progress is made. Yeah, I'm, 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 so I'm not saying they're actually leading. I'm not, I'm not saying that the universities are leading, Yeah, but I don't think those companies are leading sure. in general because they're, sure. you know, the, the, and we, we saw this incredible spike in, you know, attendees at New Reps. And as I said in my January 1st review this year for 2020, 2020 will not be remembered as a watershed year for machine learning or AI. Mm -hmm. You know, there was nothing surprising happened anywhere, unlike when deep learning hit ImageNet. That was a that was a a shake. And there's a lot more people writing papers, but the papers are fundamentally boring, yeah, and uninteresting. Incremental work. 